The day of an incredible concert tonight at Coors Event Center. Drake Milligan is going to be here. He's joined by Hudson Bay, Saskatchewan's Kelsey Kulik. And uh, just so happens we've got Drake Milligan in the studio. Drake, thanks for coming by, man. Howdy, howdy. Thanks for having me. How have the travels been? Uh, Pretty easy. So far, so good. Uh, Lots of flights to get up here from Nashville, but... uh... Yeah, we're uh, we're feeling good and, and glad to be here. Probably not expecting to uh, come to Saskatoon and land at a, a Christmas station when you're coming by for a country show. Uh, I love it. I love Christmas time. I love Christmas music. Uh, so this is awesome. This was an, a wonderful surprise. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that we could turn the tables in a in a really good way. Uh, you have any like uh, kind of long standing Christmas traditions in your family? Not a whole lot. Uh, my brother's a, a really good cook. He's he does the whole Texas barbecue thing pretty well, and so we kind of let him take over on the Christmas cooking, and and usually he uh, he cooks something pretty good. So, what's your favorite example of Christmas baking? Mm, well, I mean, he does like a like a smoked turkey that's pretty good. So just smoked turkey breast that's really good. Uh, also, he does like a prime rib sometimes. You know, mm. just switch it up for for Christmas. Dude, what about the sweets? So I know that mm. our uh, our morning guy Pat Dubois he mm. uh, he made a post that got a little bit of controversy this controversy this morning. He's talking about how raisins absolutely do not belong in butter tarts. Where do you stand on that? I, I'm not familiar with the butter tart. I'm, I'm behind the ball on this one. What about raisins in general, like in bread or something? Uh, yeah, most of the time, as long as I like, I, like a like a nice raisin uh, cookie, is is fine as long as I know it's a raisin cookie. If I'm thinking, if I'm if I'm looking <laughs> at this cookie and I'm thinking this is a chocolate, I'm thinking I'm about to bite into a nice chocolate chip cookie and it's raisin. I'm, I'm, my day is ruined. Okay, well, and then that brings us to the next point. You're unfamiliar with butter tarts. I don't know where you would go to get one, like, right now, but mm-hmm. you got to acquaint yourself. Right. I don't know if that is a Canada thing or not. It must be, then. They're really, really good. Do y'all, do y'all make, like, uh, during the holidays, uh, we all make, like, haystacks. Oh, yeah. They're kind of, yeah, yes. like, chocolate-covered pretzel kind of things. So haystacks here are a little bit different. They either use oats or, mm-hmm. like, I've been familiar with, it's, like, coconut and then it's coated in chocolate and made into little bakeless cookies, and then they let it dry and they melt in your mouth. So oh, good. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. So, uh, Drake, you've been kind of dubbed, when, well, in your time on America's Got Talent, uh, Howie Mandel on there dubbed you the new Elvis of country music. How did that make you feel? Uh, well, coming from a Canadian, it felt yeah. great. Come on. Uh, <laughs> no, hey, uh, it, 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 was, it was great, and all of a sudden what it did for me is that was all of a sudden the headline, right, yeah. uh, on everybody. And, and it was right when that Elvis movie came out. And so all of a sudden, all these Elvis fans uh, all across the world, they had that, you know, pop up on their Facebook, you know, the new Elvis of country. And it, and it really did a lot for me in my career <clears throat> as far as just, you know, getting the word out there. And uh, it was really... Uh, you couldn't have, have planned it better. I'm so glad he, he said that. Well, and that kind of speaks to your roots, too, because uh, before you exploded into the world of country music, you uh, you got your feet wet as an Elvis impersonator. How did that all start? Uh, that started, uh, I, I discovered El- who Elvis was. I always, I always heard, you know, during the holidays, uh, I would, you know, hear Blue Christmas, and I always loved that song. I never really knew who sang it. And then I was out eating with my family one night when I was about six or seven years old, and there was an Elvis impersonator at the restaurant we were eating at, going around and singing. And I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> I, I mean, he had the jumpsuit. He was singing these songs that I love. I was like, "What is going on?" I need to be a part of whatever this is. And so it kind of became a phase until it wasn't. And all of a sudden, you know, I started lip syncing on the coffee table. I started getting little jumpsuits. My mom would make little outfits for me. And then it evolved into that was that was my full time gig right up until like high school. Well, and then, I mean, it got you cast in a CMT series, so you were the lead. You played Elvis in Sun Records. Absolutely. So you're on the music side of things. How was the filming side of things? Uh, it was awesome. I fell in love with the acting side. I mean, I I had come from music and, and obviously loved Elvis and, and had, per, you know, essentially been preparing for that role for a long time, especially musically. And so... I just it was it was a definitely a, a jump for me to go on a, a major TV series like that, uh, and I was right out of high school. I dropped out of high school to come do that, you know, straight out of Texas, and didn't know what I was doing. But I had a great uh, great director, great cast, great crew that that really helped me out. And, and then the casting, I would imagine, opened some doors in the music industry for absolutely, you too. Absolutely, absolutely, it did. And it, well, it introduced me to a guy named Tony Brown who produced my first record, and uh, Tony, uh, you know, played keys with Elvis back in the day, and also. I mean, produced hundreds of great, great Nashville records, a bunch of George Strait records, uh, some of my favorite records ever. Vince Gill, 
Um, a lot of great stuff. Excellent. Well, I mean, I, I can't even imagine the the background of Elvis, who is like one of the most celebrated artists of all time, uh, taking that influence and, and what you must apply to your music career as Drake Milligan as well. Well, the Elvis influence comes out. It definitely does every now and then. I, I spent so much time studying him, and, and Tony Brown actually helped me to, you know, when I first came to Nashville, I thought, I don't want to be the Elvis guy. I'm going to throw all that out the window. And he's like, no, you got to use that, man. Use. I mean, you've studied this guy, and Elvis, is, Elvis was a I think one of the greatest entertainers of all time. Oh, and yeah. So, you know, especially in my live show, I like to, you know, bring a little bit of that Elvis stuff there. You know, he had he always had a great band and just put on a great show. So uh, borrowing parts of that, studying his show uh, has really helped my live show and, and bringing some of that into there. Well, I'm excited to see how that translates onto the stage tonight at Coors Event Center. So we're uh, we're over a year now after your last release, Dallas Fort Worth, that uh, that hit shelves last summer. You've had a couple of releases this year. You worked with a Canadian group, the Rec Laws, Honky Tonkin' About. Uh, you released I Got a Problem as well. Um, as we kind of get through the holiday season, you get your touring underway. Uh, do you have any other plans for the next year? Oh, absolutely. We've got we've got stuff recorded and, and ready to go out, so still waiting on a release date for that, uh, but it'll be very soon. It'll be very soon. So we'll have to keep our eyes open. Yep. We've we have a segment that we run uh, back when we uh, when we return to 92.9 The Bull and when we're playing regular country music when we graduate from the, the Christmas stuff. We have a segment that we run every afternoon called Ride It or Buck It. And that's when, uh, you know, brand new songs get sent to us. And then we present that to our listeners. We say, hey, do you like this? Yep. Vote, ride it or buck it. If people vote for buck, then we never play the song again. But I don't think you're in any danger around here. <laughs> ride it. Please ride it. <laughs> I think we had I Got a Problem on Ride It or Buck It. And I All think right. that, like, got some pretty. Uh, pretty good reviews from the Saskatoon crowd. So I think you've got some fans tonight that are going to belt your lyrics back at you. Great, I hope so. It's such a singable <laughs> song. That, I love that. I do a little little part of that where, you know, I try to get everybody to sing it back to me, too. And and, and so I, that's one of the reasons I love that song. Oh, and Honky Tonk it about, too. I mean, that, oh, was, yeah. that was a toe tapper. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun. And I love those the Rec Laws. I just... What a great friendship uh, we, we've kind of made, and, and we just had great times with them. Uh, you know, the first time I met them was cutting that vocal for that song, and, and I'm so glad they brought me in on that song, and and, uh, and it's just been a journey on that ever since. So we were talking about your uh, Elvis influence and how you kind of take that uh, and apply that to your own shows. So, I mean, people have that in the back of their mind at Coors Event Center tonight, but what kind of a show can we look forward to? Uh, we bring a lot of energy. I, I, you know, I, I come from... I come from the school also of, of playing a lot of Texas honky tonks, mm-hmm. a lot of dancing crowds, uh, and, and and kind of a rowdy beer drinking crowd. So uh, they're going to have some of that. I, I'm a, such a fan of traditional country music, so I find ways to you know bring stuff like Buck Owens songs and stuff like that. We're going to play a little bit of Elvis, uh, and we're going to play. Uh, all my songs from the record, from my first record, as well as uh, some new songs. Awesome. Well, I cannot wait to hear that. And lucky you listening. There's still some tickets available. Coors Event Center tonight. And uh, we do have some local talent opening up the show. Kelsey Kulik is going to get that stage warmed up. So cannot wait for that tonight. Thank you so much for popping in, by the way. Thank you for having me. So you uh, you brought your guitar. We're going to take a quick step aside, uh, get your guitar all tuned up. What are you, what are you planning on playing for us? Um, you know what? We're here on the reindeer. I'm going to play a Christmas song. Ooh. Yeah, I'm here for it. Okay, Drake Milligan in studio. Uh, We're going to take a quick step aside, and we'll be back to hear a Christmas song in just a second.